Hey everybody, welcome back to our wonderful little playthrough of Chef a Restaurant Tycoon. It's gonna be fantastic! Yeah, I haven't seen any comments related to naming the dishes yet, but uh, we're gonna make some dishes here and I will do placeholder names for those dishes. And then at the next video, after I've had a chance to read the comments, uh, we'll go ahead and get them renamed at that point, okay? So uh, I want to start catering to different people, not just the cheapskates, because I think the cheapskates are pretty satisfied. And I think this because as I go to, nope, that's not it, as I go to this, the chef advisor i look at the reviews and i see pretty much like excellent ratings 75 percent of the ratings are excellent and uh, this is for all reviews i think here so latest reviews are all really good cheapskates they're liking us but now we need to start catering to other demographics i think so to do that i need to create an ambiance that is going to work for them and i think if we take a look at our city map we have a decent population here of people who are considered lower class family, which is uh, kind of nice. We have some vegetarians as well and some vegans and all that stuff. Lower class tourists is all here too. To get the people who are really, like, really high end, we're gonna need to go into more fancier districts in order to get those. So things like the suburbs district is probably gonna have a little higher upper class exposure, right? To get those guys, they're willing to spend a good amount of money to draw those guys in. We need an amp, we need an ambiance, if you will, that really kind of goes with the upper class family. And I think I kind of want to try that. So if I take a look at the furnishings, upper class families, they want me to have some modern. Now we have a good general ambiance, and that's great for our general cleanliness and things like that. But the place around it's not that modern. It's not modern enough. So I need to add some modern stuff to the restaurant. And doing that is going to uh, cost me some money. Uh, so I don't want to be careful on how much of that I do. I am going to put, I think, does this fit here? It doesn't actually go there. How about we put this right here? That's going to add a little bit more modern. And that puts vegetarians. Ooh, vegetarians like this. Okay. Um, lower class tourists are also a little happy with this. Great. They don't necessarily like the rustic, but they're okay with... The, we have enough modern stuff in there that it's going to work for them. Upper class families, not as uh, much. Oh, upper class families don't... Oh, they don't like modern. They're unhappy with how, how modern we are. Really? It says zero. Wait, I don't think that's right. We have way more modern ambience than that. Maybe they want zero. Is that what that's saying? They want zero? Hmm. We're not, we're not satisfying them enough. Maybe we can add just a couple more, like we'll add like another little plant here or something. I like how, I love how you could just solve everything in the world by adding potted plants in these games. Uh, a couple more, more potted plants. <laughs> no, uh, let's do, I don't know, some more wall decorations. This is gonna add to modern though. Pop that right there. If we're too modern, maybe they won't come in. Now, we need more modern for the vegans, apparently. So I don't know exactly how to cater to... I don't want to cater to everybody, but... How about we add, like, a little shelf right here? In the back. We'll add it to the back like this. Like, right here. That's going to give us more modern points. Maybe we need ten modern for vegans. Four and a half. Maybe they want, maybe they want four and a half. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what it's trying to tell me. Do you want four and a half, three and a half? I'm really confused. Cause like, I just took away a bunch of points for that. You know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, we are already appealing to the blue collar workers, which is interesting. Um, do we have a good percentage of blue collar workers in our district? I mean, we have some, I guess. Um, yeah, we have some. Uh, this over here. I mean, we don't have a whole lot over here, though. Mostly, like, lower-class families and stuff. Well, we're going to want to cater to a place that has more blue-collar workers. How about... This one's okay. This one's okay. Okay, we have a couple of districts right here next to us that have a good percentage of blue-collar workers. Might be able to get there. They prefer not to spend their entire pay on it and favor cheaper prices. See, I kind of, I want to have more expensive stuff. I want to cater to people who are willing to spend more money, right? I think that's kind of the general idea here. So to get 
upper class families. We need to go. This customer type will not visit your restaurant because the ambience rating is too low. Invest in furniture that is more expensive and or more to their taste. Okay, investing in furniture. Now, I think what I'm gonna, I think what I might do here. Let me, let me just, uh, let, me, let me, let me take this back because it's expensive. Um, I might take this back too. But I, I, right now, we're vegans and vegetarians, sorry, vegetarians and lower class tourists are really interested right now. So for now, we're gonna hold off on that. And actually, lower class tourists, they like a different thing, right? They like uh, people. Lower class tourists tend to be interested in. A low, low budget tourist, I'm sorry. They tend to be interested in meat and wine. They dislike vegetarian and vegan foods. So they don't have the high expense budget, but at least it's higher than the cheapskates. So it looks to me like we need something with meat. We need a lot of stuff with meat, uh, of course. Okay, I wanna make a couple of things for our menu here, okay? So let's go to the recipe editor. We're gonna make a soup, okay? We're gonna make a couple of soups. The first soup is gonna be a real meaty, like a real meaty soup, okay? This is a real hearty, real creamy soup, okay? And actually, I'm kind of thinking maybe a meat stew. A meat stew might be might be in order if we're gonna go for full on meats and stuff, like a bacon kind of stew. You know what, we're gonna go meat stew one. And if you, again, if you have names for this stuff, uh, please leave it in the comments and I'll go ahead and name them according to what you guys are thinking about. And I think I'm gonna put this in the soup category, the stews in the soup category. I think so. Um, okay, so accept this, and we're gonna go in here. Meat stew one, I know, a real bland name. Don't worry, we'll get it changed at the next video. Uh, I'm gonna record these two at a time, so uh, I'll be able to read the comments of what you guys have to say on the last one before I record the next one. So for the meat stew, uh, we're gonna use some really good chicken. Uh, so at least at least the two star on the chicken. And uh, we can actually add a little bit of bacon bits in there too. Like this is gonna be real meaty, right? Now we're also getting fattiness. It's pretty fatty. We're gonna reduce the bacon, I guess. And if we reduce the bacon a little bit, we actually get the the healthy tag, which is kind of nice. We can upgrade our chicken just a tad bit to, let's say, 100 grams, okay? Uh, actually, beef. Beef is better for a meat stew, isn't it? Isn't beef better? I think beef is better for the meat stew, but we don't have good quality ingredients for beef. So maybe we go to our ingredients panel first, actually, and take a look at beef. Let's get a, let's get a second level for our beef. And that way we can at least use the two-star beef for this recipe. Okay, go back. So, um, stats panel, back to ingredients. Uh, looks like I have to re-add it in order to get access to that. There we go, okay. So let's go ahead and put the beef on there. We'll have two-star two quality beef on this. Maybe not bacon. I think I think bacon was kind of stupid. All right, um, now this is not, like we're gonna have a little bit of vegetables in this. Like carrots are pretty good to use with this. Um, I kind of think chunks of potato absolutely are gonna be good with this. We don't want to have as many carrots. We don't want to have as many potatoes. We're gonna have better quality potatoes though. Uh, kind of like this. And we'll go a little bit lighter on the carrots. Bump up the beef just a tad bit more. Okay, uh, we're gonna use a little bit of salt. Uh, and uh, by a little bit, I mean a little bit of salt. Uh, also, I guess they like salt. <laughs> it actually raises the rating up high to have it salty. Okay. Um, we probably should pop some tomatoes in there, but I want to be careful not to get the vegetable tag on this. So I actually don't want the vegetable tag. If I can get the vegetable tag to go away, it'd be better. Looks like we have a really high percentage on, on that. Let's go like this. Bring the number, amount of vegetables like way down. Bring the tomatoes way down too. Like I, I want vegetables in it to add to the flavor, but I don't want to get the vegetable tag. And then for carbs, probably not pasta. Or we could add some bread. Oh wow, now it's just the, okay. That kind of works, I guess. We can add the carbs, that's good. We'll add carbs to this. So we'll add, we'll give them some bread for the beef stew. And uh, Let's maybe add a little bit, you know, margarine. Okay, we can add just a little bit more beef and that's enough to lose the vegetable tag, which is important, but it's not enough. We have to have high quality. We need a hundred. Okay, there we go. Okay, so with a hundred grams, that's enough to get us the check mark. It gets us four and a half. I would really like to get that five hat. Uh, it's still $4.15 cost for ingredients. This is going to be a really expensive stew, man. Really, really expensive. 
I'm wondering if garlic is a good flavor. Oh, you know what? I don't really like mushrooms myself. Um, and actually, if I add any more mushrooms, I'll probably get the vegetable tag. Uh, is there anything I can add here? Maybe just some cream? Cream is expensive. Whoa. Cow cheese. Oh, cream is going to work better. Cream works way better. Yeah, so we add just a little bit of cream. And we should get the... There it is, right there. Okay, so we get the carb and we get the meat, right? We get carb and we get the meat tag. And that's kind of what we wanted for our meat stew. So this is beef stew with carrots, tomatoes, little ch tiny chunks of potato in it. We have a little bit of butter, a little bit of celery, a little bit of cream. And uh, we have definitely some bread to like, you know, dip and soak into the stew. So I think that's kind of, that's gonna be okay. So this is our meat stew. Uh, it's gonna be meat stew one. The cost is $4.64, so which is like a little bit pricey, but hopefully it appeals to people who are willing to pay a little bit more for their stuff. So this is a soup. We're gonna have meat stew one. And again, this is expensive. So we're gonna go up to $10 for this. That's a $10 stew, okay? All right, so I think now I wanna make a chicken noodle soup. And I want it to be like my chicken noodle soup. Like what, what do I, what would I put in a chicken noodle soup, okay? So let's just figure out what it's gonna look like here. Uh, you know what, this is probably fine. I, I, mean, I don't know what kind of, yeah, it's just gonna change the color of that. And yeah, yeah you know, what? I think we'll just leave it here. This is gonna be char, this is gonna be Char's chicken noodle okay charged chicken noodles so what do i have in my chicken noodle soup well we have to get the stuff that's in the name so we're gonna do some pasta let's get some really good pasta we're gonna do some chicken let's get some decent chicken we don't need a super high we're gonna do some decent chicken uh, i think i'm gonna probably want in my soup anyway i'd want some black pepper and probably a little bit of salt so let's try to do that first we want this to be kind of light uh, and then I think, uh, let's see, uh, maybe a little bit of celery probably is what I would have just a little bit though. And I definitely have some carrots in there. Absolutely. And, uh, probably just, just a little bit though. I wouldn't have too many carrots. Uh, I think, I kind of think that's almost all I would have in mind. Um, the other, maybe I would add some time, but I don't have any of that in the game yet. We haven't unlocked that yet. Uh, I could maybe, I, I mean, honestly, like the go-to, it seems to be like adding margarine and adding butter is a great way to get your ranking up in the game, it seems, usually. Like, instantly, everyone loves butter. So, uh, I'll add a little bit of butter to this, I guess, and that would be my chicken noodle soup. Uh, but in order to actually save this recipe, I have to have two vegetables tagged, uh, two, sorry, two ingredients that are tagged as vegetables in an average quantity of 50 grams or more which is real weird. So we're gonna just put carrots up to 50, and we're gonna put celery up to 50, and now it will let me. But unfortunately, that also makes it worse. So let's maybe up the pasta a little bit. Uh, ooh, we had meat, we had a meat tag here. That's kind of nice. Actually, I want that meat tag. Let's give me that meat tag. Uh, let's see, black pepper, maybe add just a little bit more salt. It's 100, now it's kind of salty. You get a hundred, but I can get, if I do this, I have to add more meat. So let's just add a little bit more meat. There we go. 101. Okay. This is my chicken noodle soup. It's pretty simple, right? It's just celery and carrots, pasta, chicken, a little black, a little black pepper. And actually probably put a little more black pepper on us if it was me. But it also takes it down the rankings, so never mind. Uh, and salt. Yeah. I don't want it to be too salty. We'll go like that. Okay. 101 rating here. Charged chicken noodle soup. We'll save that. We'll get that added to the menu as well. So Char's Chicken Noodle is also on the menu. So meat stew. This is a soup that's all about meat. Uh, and actually, let's pop this to $6. Uh, six, please. There we go. I think this is probably too expensive. I'm gonna put that down to $9. I think it's probably too expensive. Uh, Char's Chicken Noodle is gonna rock at uh, almost three times cost. So that's good. And then garlic potato soup is pretty bad. We can go ahead and get rid of that. And we are left with two soup choices that cater to the cheapskates, but also people who like meat. There is no vegetarian soup. 
There's no vegetarian soup. Let's, uh, let me take a look at that. Uh, if we make a vegetarian soup, maybe we'll make it green. Here we go. Green, green all around. Everyone likes green. Uh, and we'll go with, uh, I'm gonna go with just the veggie, veggie soup. I'm just gonna call it, uh, I don't know, like, like, you know what, for now, we're just gonna be veggie soup one. And again, you guys, Give me your names for soups, Siri. Give me your names for foods. Uh, it, you could don't don't just pick one. You can try to name all of them if you want to, and I'll, I'll incorporate names that you guys leave me in the comments. All right. So this is this vegetable soup. It's as vegetable as a vegetable soup can get, right? Really. So we're just gonna pop a whole bunch of vegetables in here, and um, potato soup here. Just some tomatoes in here. We're gonna want them to be higher quality. And uh, I think we'll maybe put some onions in there. Absolutely. And that's it. Like, just give me all this stuff in a soup and everybody loves it. Look at that. It's really sour. It's really sweet. It's got a lot to do with the tomatoes. So I'm going to bring these down just a little bit. And I'm going to have to add a little bit of salt because that's why this the flavor is so unbalanced. So I'm going to bring all these down just to help me with... I think we'll have the cherry tomato. I don't need these tomatoes. The cherry tomatoes are enough here. All right, we're gonna add just a little bit of salt to this too, because I think it's gonna have to happen. Uh, black pepper, yeah, and a little bit of salt. Where is it? Right here, okay. And we'll just bring the salt down, bring the black pepper down, and we're gonna add a 100 rating. Uh, tiny bit more, uh, less on the tomatoes and, or sorry, on the potatoes. We can add a few more carrots. I like carrots, but. I don't like onions. I'm not a fan of the onions. And let's see, it's still a little salty. We have to offset the sweetness of these cherry tomatoes. Uh, sorry, it's a little too sweet, not too salty. I can bring a little bit more salt into it. Uh, I need to offset. Let's bring the cherry tomatoes down, bring the carrots up. And they're actually both the same price, so that doesn't matter. Celery is pretty expensive. It's weird that celery is more expensive than carrots. Okay, we have two vegetables. The important thing is I have two vegetables that are in 50 grams or higher. So we end up with vegetables, vegan, vegetarian, and healthy. And it only costs us 62 cents for this, but it's a really nice veggie soup, right? Is there anything else we can add to this? Again, we want to make sure we keep it vegetarian, vegan. Keep it vegan. No cheese. We can add margarine. Margarine's technically not. Yeah, we can add margarine. That will bump it up because it's not a product of. It's like fake butter, basically. All right, we have just really low amounts of that, but it's enough to get us the fives, and uh, it ends up being seventy-one cents for this. Very cool. All right, all right. So now we're gonna go back to the menu, take the veggie soup, put it on the menu. And the veggie soup is only seventy-one cents. We're gonna charge a whopping four bucks for it. Okay. So we've got some additional offerings in our restaurant now, right? People have options that they didn't have before and they can have good food, right? Really high quality stuff on the menu that they can choose from. I almost feel like going down desserts right now, but I'm gonna stick, maybe a good appetizer. You know, we don't have a carb filled appetizer right now. So how about we take, we have two vegetarian appetizers. We're gonna want to maybe look to keep those. Let's take the tortillas out. We'll maybe add a recipe for an appetizer. But what will it be? What will an app a good appetizer be? I'm not sure. I don't have really anything that can... I haven't looked at that yet. What about... In Let's go to an ingredients panel really quick. What would we have for an appetizer that would work for... Maybe like nuts. Oh, we don't even have nuts. I kind of want to get some nuts. Some chickpeas, hmm? Possibly. Uh, we're gonna want to get wine if we want tourists. So that's something we'll want to look at. Uh, really good wine. Gosh, for an appetizer. I mean, I'm thinking like maybe, I, I would normally have like, I guess the tortilla thing, isn't that like chips? We just have bread. A bread based appetizer, or we do like, um, do we have squid? I really like squid. <laughs> I like squid. Do you like squid? I like squid. Cheese, 
I don't have any like chips. I'm thinking of like artichoke dip and stuff. Like I don't, I'm I'm easy like that. Maybe I'll just keep the appetizers on the current menu. We could always look at maybe having like uh, like pie, but or a sandwich. A sandwich based appetizer? Yeah, I mean maybe like a like a ham sandwich kind of thing. Nah. Eh. I don't like it. I don't like any of my options here. I'd like to have some of these other ones. Like I see some stuff here like like onion rings kinds of things. Can I do that? I don't think I can do that. I can also get new furniture. If I want to do from Icoa. Uh, all we need to do is accept these and uh, we'll get the ability to buy some different types of stuff. So we'll get to buy stuff for our uh, kitchen or stuff for the hall. And also reliable tables is gonna be a thing. And then also once we get popular enough, we need a thousand popularity. So we got a long way to go. But once we get a thousand popularity, we can actually have more than one restaurant at a time. If you're wondering if you can open multiple restaurants at a time, yes, you can. Mm. I don't really have any type of like, what can I offer them as an appetizer, you know? Maybe some egg, like an egg kind of thing. Like we gotta, we gotta whip something up here. Let's, let's see about like maybe some sort of a rice dish. Some sort of like a rice dish. Uh, it doesn't really go with the theme of everything, though, does it? Maybe like a small, yeah, pasta as a appetizer for a pasta. No, I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the sandwich idea. Um. But I just don't have any creativity for that right now. I don't have anything that I really want. I don't have anything that I really want to offer there. So I think I'll just kind of leave that on the on the menu for now. Oh, hang on, it's really cheap now. Um, let's have the yeah. Make sure our soup and stuff is good pricing. Um, let's change this to also 350. Let's just do 350 for this. Okay. So we don't really have decent appetizers. The game gives you some, but it doesn't look like it gives you the same ingredients to make your own, right? Like, if I was to remove this, this is potato, egg. Well, I mean, we could fry potatoes. We just need a fryer. Maybe that's why I don't have the ability to do it. Maybe I, maybe I, get a, maybe I can buy a fryer. Oh, that's extra maintenance cost, though. Do I really want to? Hmm. You know, that could be a thing. Maybe we're limited because we don't have the equipment. If I was to buy this fryer, it's 10 maintenance costs with six cooking slots. This one's 30 maintenance costs with 16 cooking slots. So I can technically get 12 slots. Yeah, if I got three of these, it would be the same maintenance, but I'd have two additional cooking slots with it. So I think it's still better to go with this. And I could get a fryer here. It's like an air fryer kind of thing, right? Ten maintenance costs. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take this. So this gives us a fryer, and this is gonna allow us to create additional dishes that are based on frying stuff. So if I go to my recipes now, I probably don't have a whole lot going on. But if I was to, I wish I didn't have to choose from a template. Can I just uh, like like I don't want a sandwich. You know, I guess I could just go with sauteed rice, soup, pie, steamed fish, salad, sandwich. I, like, I don't want any of these. I kind of want this one, whatever that is. I wonder if there is a way to, maybe it's this. Are there ways to open this up? Steamed vegetables, sauteed vegetables, grilled veggies, Roasted veggies, fried veggies. Here we go, fry vegetables. So I need to have this. And now I think I can do that. Let me go back to the recipe editor. And now we have, now we had fried vegetables. Okay, so you have to you have to unlock those. Okay, now it makes sense. Now everything's coming together. Um, I don't like the pictures we have here though. Ah, there we go. Now we're talking. Uh, what's the closest I can do to catch up? I guess it's kind of like this, isn't it? It's like, maybe it's like hot sauce. Uh, it's gonna be char fries. <laughs> I don't know, char fries. We're not gonna put a char in front of everything, but yeah, char fries. All right, so fried vegetables. We're gonna do, we're gonna fry things. And uh, we want 
to have fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. That's all we want. Fried potatoes. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> That's 19 cents. We're good to go. Very healthy. It's very healthy. <laughs> no, we're, we're going to fry these, though. I mean, like... Why is this considered healthy? We're frying potatoes. Uh, obviously, we want some ketchup, right? We're gonna have to have, we gotta serve it with ketchup, of course. And uh, maybe, just maybe, I'll have a little bit of salt. You gotta always salt the fries, always salt the fries. Anyone who's ever worked at McDonald's will tell you, salt the fries. Uh, but like, that's it. Like, I don't, there's no way to like make French fries, you know, like to make fries. It doesn't seem like there's a way to do that. So maybe I can do, I don't know. Like, what are we going with with the fries, right? Like, with the fries, we serve carrots and celery. <laughs> okay. Like, there's no way to there's no way to just do that. Like, uh, carrots and celery at the, on the side of the fries, no big deal. Like, this is such a confused dish. Fried fried vegetables, right? Like, there's this is so confused. I don't know, man. I don't think I like this. Like, I want. I feel like I don't have the control that I want to just make French fries and offer them as an appetizer. Well, I guess maybe we'll look at offering a biscuit. It's like nothing I do is going to make this better, right? Like there's nothing I can do to make this dish actually work as a good rating. Uh, like I can add all the salt in the world, I guess. Really salty, really salty. Here you go. Four star now. Good. Ketchup. We're going to have to bring that to a balance here somewhere. Celery, bring that, get that out of here. Nobody likes the celery. Although it's really salty, so I need to offset this with something a little bit sweet. Or, like, maybe we add an apple. <laughs> I don't know. It does technically offset it a little bit. Uh, raspberries, yeah, for sure. No, it's not going to work. Uh, mm. What goes against the salt? Well, you know, we could just add margarine. Because <laughs> who doesn't like a good amount of margarine with your fried potatoes? Char fries. They're real good. See? Oh, black pepper. Why not pop that in here, too? They love it. See? They love it. Um, what else can we add to our char fries? I would love to add some cheese, but I, I think we lose, the, we lose the vegan tag for the cheese. We actually have potatoes, but the thing I don't understand, like carbs, right? We have potatoes. They're high on carbs, right? They're starches, they're high on carbs. But yeah, it doesn't count as carbs because it's like, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't. Uh, are carrots hurting me or helping me here? Oh, see now it's it's too salty, right? So I need to offset that, bring the salt down. There we go, there we go. Now it's 102, these are the char fries. My God, who's gonna eat these? We'll see, appetizers. They're char fries. They're really good for you. <laughs> 81 cents is our cost. That's a bit high, higher than normal. Let's go 250 on that. Uh, you know what? Let's go $3 on that. And then I think we'll get rid of this one because who cares? So we have all of this and then this. There's no meaty appetizers. No meaty appetizers. Not on our menu, at least not right now. Hmm. I don't know, we'll have to come up with something. I kind of want like little mini tacos. Can I have like little mini tacos? I know my, my, my restaurant is so confused. It's like a pasta, a, very, a, pa a pasta place, but it's serving french fries as an appetizer. Oh my God, reviews, look at this. Really great prices, really good prices, really good prices. Okay, good, everyone likes my prices. As long as I'm profitable, that's, a, that's an okay thing, but I really want them to spread the word, right? Make me Make me more popular, spread the word. I'm not sure what people are ordering when they say I have good prices. Can I see that? Can I see what they're ordering when they say that? Oh, I've also gone up in my world chef rankings. So I'm no longer in last place, okay? I'm now in 60th place. And as we go up, we start getting named people. So when you make the top 50, then you're higher than Tina Defaultina, <laughs> Marta Stuarda, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we just keep working our way all the way up until we get to, you guessed it, <laughs> uh, Rorden Gamsey, of course. I assume pretty much all these are named after other famous chefs and stuff. I mean, we saw Martha Stewart down there. I don't see Rachel Ray. 
which is something that uh, somebody brought up in my Twitch chat. Uh, I think Elric said it. He's like, I don't, I'm surprised I don't have Rachel Ray in here. It's like, yeah, I thought that would be uh, something that you'd definitely put in here too, but maybe she's not as respected in the culinary industry as, as some of these other ones. I don't know. I have no idea. But look at the popularity. You need to get to 18,000. All right. Way over 9,000. Twice what 9,000 is. We've got a long ways to go till we can compete with Rorden Gamzee. All right, so my experience points has unlocked a new uh, a new type of thing, right? We can have new different types of dishes by focusing on other things and unlocking certain things. And um, it looks like me, like once we get level three in this, one additional editor perk will be available, which is kind of interesting. I don't know that. Let's We'll have to figure that out because um, we're going to get really good at pasta and then grilled meat, right? We want good grilled chicken and things like that. We can now do fried meat. Um, now we can get... Yeah, that's, that'd be good if we can get that. So we got another ingredient point now. I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna stock point, points up a little bit because I think, again, I wanna really focus on getting better quality ingredients more so than getting like more ingredients. I want higher quality for the ones we already have. Our staff is working pretty well. They don't seem like they're all that tired, uh, at least not super tired, not too overworked anyway. So we don't need to worry about their morale just right now. And now the prices are bad. Restaurant is gorgeous. Couldn't ask for better waiters. Also, the restaurant is gorgeous, but I can't ignore the fact that you can't ask people to pay that much on their menu. And their menu is comprised of awful, awful recipes, awful recipes. But again, like some of these guys are just not gonna like it, right? Food is bad, prices were bad. They called it decent because the atmosphere was good. These guys said the atmosphere was terrible. The prices were really good. So like, like what, are you, what are you doing here, you know? Uh, the only thing that didn't like was that the place was so awful to my eyes to see to my eyes. Okay, so that's a vegetarian. Notice that the vegetarian, right, said that the atmosphere was bad. Really liked the the prices on things, but the but the it's just the atmosphere was bad. So let's take a look at that. What can we do to improve the atmosphere? For vegetarians. Rustic is five point five. They're kind of like meh on it. Um, like if I add anything more rustic, I feel like going overboard on the rustic right now. If I add another one of these clocks, will that please you? Will that please the rustic gods? Six, still not amused. I don't know if it's really, if it's that, you know, like I don't know if that's really the thing. Ooh, also we have these paintings, $100, adds a little more modern. There is no rustic artwork, at least it doesn't appear to be. Um, one of these is rustic. Yeah, let's add like a, like a purple mat out this way, I guess. That's more rustic. They're still not amused. See, I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's too much rustic for them. I don't know. I can't tell. Cause it's like, it's not telling me if it's, a, it's going up or down in their opinion. And I might just be wasting money doing this, right? It's not helping my their opinion of me. Um, so it's something I'm gonna. I might play with this. I might play with that ambiance, ambiance, a little bit uh, off video, just to kind of see what it's going, what's going on with it. So menu's looking decent now. We don't have a. We're not really all that great at desserts yet, and we kind of want to look at that. But the cheapskates don't like desserts, so I'm not really open to that. Which makes sense. That you know you're paying extra for that extra bit of food. Uh, like if I'm, when I'm getting when I'm cheap, right? When I'm cheap and I'm just kind of like, eh, you know, I don't really, you know, like steak and potatoes. We can replace that steak and you know what? We can replace that steak and potatoes dish. Do we have good? Do we have good beef? Ingredients panel. Actually, if we don't have good beef, we can get good beef now. We have three points. We have good beef. Um, you know what? That's okay, beef. That's that's good enough. What about, uh, do I want a turkey, ham, salami, or we just get like the best quality, like potatoes we can, or tomatoes we can, or we can come over and get, you know, we could actually look at desserts now. We can get better quality chocolate or wine. If I want to attract, if I want to attract better, 
like tourists and stuff, right? I probably should get red wine. Mm, but it has to be good wine. White chocolate. Mm. Three points is enough to to max out something we have two stars. And I'm maybe I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go beef on that. We could have burgers and stuff too. That's probably better for the blue collar workers and stuff. You know, we probably should incorporate some better carrots. So we don't have great carrots right now. And um, I think maybe we go two star with a carrot. <sighs> eh. I don't know, guys. Like, I don't know what to focus on, you know? Like, there's so many choices. Let's max out the beef. Let's get really good beef. And then, if we're gonna do that, we can replace the steak and potatoes, right? So let's take a look and replacing our steak and potatoes. So we're looking at grilled meat and uh, we're gonna go, yeah, kind of like this. Steak and I guess potatoes. This is kind of potato-like. Hmm. Steak and potatoes. I think this one's supposed to be the potatoes, right? It's like scalloped kind of thing. I think we'll do this. We're gonna say steak and potatoes. And we're just gonna, we're gonna call it steak and potatoes. Oh, cause it's matching the same name. Steak and potato. Um, we're gonna say great steak and potatoes. And again, if you have a better name, just let me know what it is. If you have a better name for that. The great steak and potatoes, all right? We're looking at beef and we're gonna have, a, we're gonna give them a good one, all right? We're gonna have, let's do a two star one first and then we can also make another version that's a three star that really might get somebody who pay, to pay, pay more for it. So we're gonna go like 100 grams of that. And this wants a meat tagged ingredient with high, quali high quantity, 150 grams or more. Okay, really high amounts of beef, good. And that's like, all, honestly, if I could just do really good, just the beef, nothing else, that's enough to get them. That's it. You just give them really high quality beef and they'll just pay for it. It's already $10. Holy crap. $10 in cost. That's insane. I think we're going 573. We can, we can add things to this beef dish to make it better. Um, now it's potatoes, right? Is what we're looking for next. So we're gonna go steak and potatoes, right? We'll go two star on the potato. And like, honestly, it's, I don't know. Like, do we even need to add this stuff? Even need to add potatoes? I'm not sure. Like a little bit of potatoes and then we can add onions because they like that. Garlic, because they like that. We can add, um, and not, not everything needs to have tomatoes. Although it's just it's just that flavor that I'm looking for. We could add a little bit of pasta on the side, but that doesn't really go with steak. You know, steak is steak is not something you add pasta to. Um, a little bit of black pepper would be okay, and then obviously some salt. I think some salt. Probably the last ingredient that'll take this over the top. Yeah. All right. Bring down the black pepper just a little bit. Bring down the garlic just a tad. Balance out the flavor. Bring the onions down a little bit too. We wanna to take the salt down just a tad. Actually, it looks like it's gonna give me a vegetable tag and I don't wanna do that. Um, can I remove enough vegetables from this? Take out the onion, add more salt. Add more black pepper, less black pepper. Right there, 101. And we get just the meat tag. This is it, all right? It's just meat, all right? You like meat? Well, here's a real simple steak and potatoes. Do we want any condiments with this? Ketchup? Hmm, ketchup with a steak is actually not that bad of an idea. Uh, if I added ketchup, just like a little bit of ketchup, it actually reduces its, reduces its rating. I wish I had steak sauce. What about honey? Just curious. That destroys it. Never mind. <laughs> Figured it would, but I just had to know. What about chocolate? White chocolate goes really good with beef, apparently. It does work, but no. So our costs for this really simple thing is just uh, 5 dollars 
Okay, uh, maybe the margarine will do it. Yeah, 114. That's, yeah, it's big. Bam. Just like that. 114. Really good. Just a little bit of butter. Okay. So we're going to have this. We can actually take down the salt a little bit now if we want to. It doesn't have to be that salty. Uh, although it is improving, it's improving the rating. Now we have $6 worth of cost for something that's got a really high rating. So we are good to go here. Let's save this. Much better steak and potatoes. This has a vegetable tag though, but we've got plenty of things with vegetables for people who want the vegetables. Buy steak and potatoes. Introducing great steak and potatoes, okay. Oh, I can't, why? I don't have a grill. It let me make it, but there's no grill. Uh. Okay, do I really want to do that? Gosh, I don't know. Like this fryer is already costing me some maintenance. And if I go for a fryer right now, I don't know if I can afford it, you guys. I think, not a fryer, a grill. I'm not sure I can afford the $30 maintenance cost on this. It's really expensive. I think we hold off on that. I think, I think I'm gonna hold off on that. I mean, I like it though. I just need a grill in order to make it. 14 minutes to be cooked, $6. I mean, I can charge probably close to 20 bucks for that. Probably 18 bucks for that meal. I bet I can do that. It's really high quality. It's really high quality and it's like, mm -hmm. this is gonna, I think I, I, I really want this. Does it pay for itself though? Are enough people gonna order it? I mean, let's think this through. If it's $6, if it's $6 and I get, let's say two people a day order this, that's gonna be a total profit on that particular dish, let's say if I put it at 20 bucks, that's 30 bucks. So it need, I need to sell two of them a day to offset the cost of the grill. Am I gonna sell that many per day right now? I don't think so, because I think the number of customers I have right now, I don't, oh, I have another district icon. Maybe I should start bringing over like the blue collar workers, because then they'll, they'll wanna order those. Do you have any blue collar workers? Right now, I am attracting them a little bit. Uh, this place has a bunch of them. This is okay. Let's go to the small town. We'll get a little bit of exposure in that small town over there. If I can bring in some more blue collar workers. Maybe it's worth it. Oh, it's just so expensive. I don't want to be operating in the... I don't want to be operating in a huge loss. Uncle Bob... Uh, Uncle Bob's Grill. Uncle Bob's Grill. I almost want to put another prep table back here. I almost want... Like, I feel like it... I feel like you'd have a prep table next to the stove, right? I almost feel like you would. And then Uncle Bob's Grill can go next to that. Okay, we have a grill, fine. We have a grill, get this in the menu. Wait, great steak and potatoes is appetizer? Oh wait, that's not what I want. Edit this. It's not an appetizer, it's main course. Yeah, 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 it's main course. Save it. Okay, but it's good to know that I can do that. <laughs> great steak and potatoes is now on the list as a main course. 609 is this, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the price tag at 18 bucks on it. See if I can get 18 for it for it. Alright, so like higher paying customers, right? It's $18. It's expensive, but it's I mean it's really high quality beef, right? So like they're gonna look at it and go, yeah, the price is enormous, but it's really good. And then the cheapskates are always gonna complain about price. But that doesn't mean it's poorly priced. It just means I need clientele that are willing to pay more. So if I can attract those guys, that's the better thing. But right now blue collar workers are likely to come in, right? Modern though, they're just kind of like, eh. I don't know, like, should I have? Wait, so is this like, they want me to have three modern and I have six, so it's kind of meh? Is that what it is? Or like, I don't, I don't get why, like I have six modern, right? So let's look at this. General ambience is 20, I have that. Rustic is 11, I have that. It shows both 20 and 11 there. But I have six modern and they're only showing three. These guys are showing full full modern. I wonder if the 
Uh, is it character leveling? What is it? Stats? Customer. People. Okay. I wonder if... Will, will, will this show me, like, the modern decorations and what they do? Like, if I go up to Blue Collar, it says they always need a place where they where they can eat lunch and dinner. They prefer to not to spend their entire pan at in favor cheaper places. They often need to go back to work as soon as they can. So you may need more waiters to serve them properly and possibly some recipes that don't need a lot to be prepared. Okay, so they're actually interested in carbs and beer anyway. So who was it that really liked meat? It was low budget families. Not all families are willing to spend a lot when they go out for a meal. Despite that, they will order several different recipes and spend a lot of time at your restaurant. Despite everything, um, their expectations are reasonable and they can bring good money at the beginning of your career. That's what I'm looking for. So really good meat and really good card meals. That's exactly what I have. Low budget families. Am I, am I appealing to them though? Low budget families. No, I'm not because what I don't have an, they don't want anything for rent. I think I have too much modern. Let me, let me, let me get rid of this. Does that do anything for me? They don't want any, like, okay, let me, let me look at this really quick. If I take out all the modern stuff really quick, let's dump all the modern out of here. It's just too modern now, right? So white collar are still like, eh, I don't like your modern stuff. Now I'm not appealing to vegetarians or anything at all anymore. But if I remove basically anything modern in my store, where is it? Is there anything else modern? Is it, is it the rug? Yeah, get rid of the rug. Okay, so I have no modern at all now. Um, so lower class families. Okay, I don't have enough rustic. Interesting. Replace the old rug with this one instead. Can I place it anywhere? Wait, not letting me click. Gotta be here. six and a half like what is it that you guys want from me it's not clear enough like let me try this if i go boom 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 okay well there's really it's we're really rustic now okay now i'm getting there so they want like really rustic holy crap that's so expensive i can't i'm not gonna do that many plants right now <laughs> it's a lot of plants they want really rustic though i have to have a really rustic feel to appeal to them, but they're gonna pay more money, right? They're interested in more. Plus, this is plus two to rustic, so maybe I should buy these instead. $210, and they add two points, as opposed to the plants, which add, well, technically the plants are more, technically the plants are better economically, like point-wise, or like value to point ratio, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna put plants in every corner, man. Plants in every corner. I just, I feel like we should get some more stuff. Maybe that's what we should do, actually. We should look for, uh, it's in decisions. It's the, here. We wanna furnish, we want more furnishings from Icoa. So if I click this, what do I have now as options for the lobby? Decorations. Okay, I have a lot more options now. Well, at least not there, but I have wall decorations. Like a lot more wall decoration options. So this is plus two to rustic. That's pretty cool. Whoa, that's big. Holy cow, that's enormous. I love it. Oh, I think I love it. <laughs> it's so big. And it adds plus two. That's crazy. Big chalkboard, 200 bucks. Look at that. Bam. Oh, that's awesome. You just walk in and you can see the menu right there. I like it. Uh, and then we have these little ones that we can go next to it. So we can put one like right here. Boom. And see, these are really expensive though. These are expensive. I don't like those. I, the big ones take up a lot more wall space, but their they're cost to points are way better. And then more style here, another menu here. Wow, they're huge. Put this over here for a second. No, it won't fit. Oh, uh, what's this one? Plus two, wine shelf, $2.50. Oh man, there's some cool stuff here. Here we go. Here we go. 
Boom. Oh, remember, really rustic. Can we get these lower class families in here? Plus five to elegance? It's $550 for this. Whoa. Elegance. Uh, what are you? A luxury mirror? Vintage clock? I think I just want these. Put this here. And put this over here. 18. Are we good? God, you guys want so... You guys are so picky. The vegans love this. Somehow, the vegans really like this. I don't know how they choose... Like, how does the game choose that? Like, how do you decide... Like, this is what these people like. <laughs> what are you doing to, to make that determination, I wonder? Uh, let's do another one of these. This should be good. All right, I got 20 on the rustic now. No, 10. No, I got, well, okay, it's weird. Like, I have 20, but these guys are only seeing 10, which is, I don't understand that, but all right. So put another plant next to this, or maybe over here somewhere. I don't care. There, enough. Okay, lower class families, finally. Like, I don't get it. They only take half of what my rating is. It's kind of weird. But I spent so much money. Now look, I only have $500 left and it's near the end of the day. So like, I don't know how I'm gonna get, like the atmosphere is fantastic in this place. They're really gonna like that, you know? But is it enough? Is it enough to keep people coming back? Is it enough for people to like my food and to pay more for it? And that's, I don't know, but I want better people in here. They're gonna love the atmosphere. They're gonna love the atmosphere. Was it good? It was, but that won't save us from the Illuminati. They want to poison us with lies like the earth is round and the sun is a star. Don't be part of the system. <laughs> they hated my prices and they didn't like my food. Yeah, well, whatever. Sucks to be you. I, other people are having great experiences, okay? So, yeah, whatever. Suck it. I don't care. I mean, we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing okay. We're not making good money. That's the part we're not doing well on is the money element. And uh, that's the part where I have to really just assess this. I have to really just look at this and say, okay, uh, how do we get more money? That's what I have to figure out. And you know what? I'm gonna think about that and read your comments and stuff next time. All right, or at least uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break now. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up for the day. I'm gonna read that from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, you can give help out the video, help out the channel by giving it a like. You can comment down below. The engagement really does help videos grow. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. It's been awesome. Bye bye.